So we use all these different generative AI tools for all parts of our work lives, but what about like designing your home? <laughs> all right, let's find out. Let's see if uh, AI can do a decent job at designing our interior. So uh, if you don't know, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson, and I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage AI. So we do this AI in five thing every day where we take about five minutes to share with you a new uh, technique or tool. So make sure uh, to subscribe to this channel and check out the um, free daily newsletter as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this tool called uh, ArcoNet. Uh, so uh, I don't even think I had to create an account. It says uh, you have, you know, it looks like about 15 uh, free generations because it looks like uh, generations cost about 10 credits. So I'm not going to upload an actual photo uh, of my house. Um, I'm going to do what I would normally do. I'm going to go into ChatGPT and ask for um, an interior. So I'm going to say a um, ultra realistic um, room interior of a modern living room uh, without much furniture. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to say empty, empty interior. We'll see how that works. So uh, I do also have a video on uh, using Dolly inside of ChatGPT, but that is obviously uh, what I'm using here. Uh, you know, there's a lot of debate right now. Is it as good as MidJourney? Um, no, it's not. I don't think. Um, I think right now MidJourney is much better. But Dolly 3 is actually really, really good and uh, has dramatically uh, improved, um, especially considering uh, Dolly 2. So um, one thing that... I do like about Dolly 3 is you can take a very simple prompt like this um, and you'll see it here. It is going to spit out a uh, much improved version of the prompt. So it's going to give me four different uh, variations of this prompt and four different images as well. So then we're going to choose uh, from those and uh, pull, uh, pull kind of our favorite one into this ArcoNet tool here uh, for uh, interior design. So while we're waiting, uh, it looks like we can choose what room this is. Uh, it looks like you can uh, choose your preferred design style. And then it looks like you can also type in um, some additional suggestions. And then we're going to upload. Uh, then we're going to upload the image. So let's jump into ChatGPT. All right, we're done here. Um, all right, so let's just go ahead and use this one. And uh, kind of like what I was saying um, what I was saying earlier with ChatGPT, I can click this and uh, let me zoom out. And you'll obviously see it extended on that original prompt, uh, with, which I really like. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to download this photo. And then I'm going to jump back into uh, this uh, ArcoNet. So what room is this? It's a living room preferred design style. It is modern. And then additional suggestions. I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to say high-end furnishing. All right, and then let's go ahead and upload our image that we just generated in um, Dolly. And then let's click, uh, okay, it says uploaded. So I'm going to click generate. And let's see how it goes. So now we see our uploaded here, our uploaded photo. It's obviously very uh, bare on the inside. And uh, there's a lot, a lot going on over here on the left-hand side, generating its uh, clicking through. Uh, it looks like dozens. I don't know if it's building it kind of piece by piece, but it's really going through uh, a lot of different uh, variations. So, okay, pretty impressive. Um, so it looks like it's about done. Uh, it it obviously changed uh, quite a few things, which I think is okay. Uh, but it looks like it it created some things. Like it looks like it created a a door here that maybe wasn't there before. looks like it created a, a closet, which wasn't there before. Um, however, I think it did the majority of the job that we asked it uh, within reason, right? So, you know, it didn't change the room really. You know, you still have your, your large window uh, here on the left with the back wall. Um, and it, yeah, it did, it did the, the job that we kind of asked it. So uh, not bad. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's quickly do uh, let's quickly do one more. Let's pull one more out of uh, ChatGPT. Uh, sorry, out of Dolly. So let's go ahead and pull this one. And then we're going to jump back in and we're going to try 
uh, we're going to try one more time. So this is technically, I don't know if it's still technically a living room. Um, I, I'd say it probably is. Uh, maybe we'll just say this is dining room. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go Scandinavian and then let's, let's, uh, say vibrant. So see if we can get, uh, some vibrant colors. I'm going to go ahead and upload that one and we'll give, we will give this a second try. So, uh, let's, let's talk about, I mean, I think there's some pretty obvious use cases on why you might want to use something like this, but, uh, maybe if, if you just want some updated design to your house, maybe, I don't know, maybe you work in interior design, maybe you want to, uh, get a side hustle going. I'm not sure. So, um, all right. So this one did not do as good, um, in terms of working with the original image. Um, so, the uh, the original image that I uploaded was very. I mean, no one obviously has uh, in, unless you're a quadrillionaire. I don't think you have a room that looks like that on the right. I mean, it's an enormous room. It's a super zoomed out photo, and then the uh, the updated photo. It looks like it put us in a small little room with a kitchen. So, uh, you know, that's why I always like to do things multiple times if we can. Uh, the first generation, I would say, was actually pretty good. I'd give it like a like a B plus, A minus. The second one, probably like a C, because it didn't actually take uh, the room that we uploaded, uh, but it did uh, kind of it did kind of go with the you know the Scandinavian style, vibrant. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't say this is very vibrant in terms of colors. So, uh, kind of hit and miss with Arconet, but regardless, uh, it's a, it's a tool that has a decent free plan. If you just want some ideas, I think it might be worth checking out. So if this is helpful, I hope it was, please subscribe to this channel, but also please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, and please join us on a future, uh, live stream. Check out the podcast. All right. Thanks y'all.